Hello guys, this is IPTech here and in this video I will be reviewing the Nexus 7 2012 edition tablet. Uh, hope you enjoy this video and if you like it make sure you press the thumbs up button below. So the first part of this review will be the physical overview which means what the tablet looks like and so you can see if on the bottom on this tablet we have a micro USB cable if the camera focuses that is a micro USB slot 3.5 mm headphone jack on the sides on the left side is empty except this which I think is for connecting like a keyboard I believe on the left side we have a uh, volume rocker keys and a uh, power button to turn on the device and on the front we have the, the screen which is a uh, 7 inch 7 inch screen yeah 7 inches across and the resolution comes up to 1280 up and uh, 800 across which gives it a nice PPI of about 260 which is pretty good for media consumption so on the back of the device there's the famous Nexus logo and on the bottom we can see Asus logo which it's there because this device is made by Asus and below the Asus logo we have a soundbar which is well, the speaker grill and that is it there's not much on the device so let's move on to the next step of our uh, review which is the internal specs so this tablet the 2012 edition features a Nvidia Tegra 3 processor then which is a pretty powerful processor it's a quad core processor clocked at 1.3 gigahertz which by today's standards is not that good but it uh, performed really good in this device and comes up with a ULP GeForce graphics processor clocked at 460 MHz which is pretty good for gaming if you want to uh, game on this and uh, 1 gigabytes of RAM which again most phones today come up with 2 or 3 gigabytes but one is still enough for this device and this is the 32 gigabyte version alright so our thing is the battery it's got a uh, Decent battery, 4300 milliamp, 4300 milliamp power, um, hour battery, which gives an impressive uh, standby time of 300 hours or like 12 days, or two weeks basically. But from my experience, so it's decent battery life, it get you for the day, but compared to like today's standards, it's alright, I guess. Okay. Final step of the uh, of the review is the sc on screen uh, overview, which is what's on the screen. This is updated to the latest Android version, which is 5.0 Lollipop, but the originally shipped with 4.1 Jelly Bean. But, and it's a good thing you can actually sorry, let me unlock this. There we go. <laughs> It's the newest version the, with the material design and there's new rede like redesign UI. As you can see, it's got the the new, basically, new interactive buttons at the bottom. Now I'm new multitasking and that. Okay, the other differences is the pull down menu, as you can see. This time you don't have on both sides. Like you're swiping this for notifications, swipe this for quick settings. So together now, so you swipe once just to get your notifications. Swipe again, and you get all your quick features like access to your turn off your wireless, your brightness, Bluetooth, airplane mode, auto rotate, location, and cast screen. Um, this uh, material design provides a very good user experience from what I've seen so far like all the apps are redesigned like YouTube app yeah come on if it loads sorry well, I think that's for any device the YouTube app so all the apps have been uh, redesigned like you have new settings app 
which is this uh, two-sided I think because that for the tablets specifically for the tablets got the uh, two-sided if it focuses sorry there we go so as you can see Android 4.0 Nexus 7 okay so uh, in conclusion uh, this device is a it's a very good device if you're into a tablet in a small factor tablet so if you don't want those big 10 inch tablets you want something small very portable uh, this is your choice or you can opt for the 2013 edition the new one which is more powerful basically more powerful and better display but internal so and does this one doesn't feature secondary camera she's got one front facing camera which is a 1.3 megapixel yeah 1.3 megapixel which is great for video calling and that is it for the review guys I uh, hope you enjoy it and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you click the thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you